Hi, I'm Robin Bensley. Welcome to my online cooking show. It's called Chow Time. Each week I bring you a brand new recipe. They are always easy and they're always interesting. And this show happens to take place on Lake Como in Italy. And this is the magnificent hotel Villa Desk, which is very world famous. And on the menu today, something Italian, of course, I decided to make pasta fontina because here is where I've had the finest fontina cheese I've ever eaten. Now, while I was at Villa Dest, uh, I happened to meet a lovely Italian lady named Sophia, so I thought, why not invite her back to my villa to make pasta fontina? And uh, this is Sophia, and there is only one small problemo, mm. and that is... Non parlo inglese. Oh, yeah. So I thought that's perfect because non parlo italiano. So you want to make, you and me, we cook... Pasta Fontina. Bene. Okay, this ought to be good. And by the way, if you've ever dreamt about renting a villa in Italy, do it. Look at this beautiful view. This is much less expensive uh, than a cheap hotel, actually. You have the privacy, you can go to the local markets, and you can cook while you're in Italy. So, let's go to the ki kitchen, whatever, you know, you know what I'm talking about, right? See, si. She has no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> Okay, Sophia, here's an aproni for you. Oh, bene. Okay, I'm gonna put one on here. Sophia, like Sophia Loren. Oh, oh. Bad day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to <laughs> chop some prosciutto. Oh, if only you could understand me. And then we're going to frizzle it in a little olive oil. So because prosciutto is so thin, I just sort of roll it up like this, and then we're going to just cut it into little pieces. All right, are you following me so far, Sophia? See, si, see. Si. All right, so I've just heated a little bit of olive oil, and I'm going to put this in here till it gets fry it till it gets nice and crispy. Now, while the prosciutto is crisping up, uh, we're going to do a little prep work. I'm going to chop uh, one large onion and uh, several small tomatoes or one or two large tomatoes. Hey, Sophia, you can help me do this. You can come on over and you can uh, chop a tomato for me. You know how to do that? Pomodoro. Yeah, yeah. And chop, chop. No, wait, that's Chinese. No, don't. No, you have to chop it. Uh, pretty small dice on this. Oh, those pomodoros coming. Bene. Yeah, I've been bene with you. Can I get you some more wine? Right, the prosciutto is nice and crispy. So we're just going to set this aside, put it in a little dish. And then in the same pan, we are going to cook this chopped onion. So, uh, Sophia, if you don't mind, could you hand me that onion over there, the chopped onion over there? Oh, no, no, that's okay. Uh, the onion, onionis. Oh. Ooh, ooh. So, okay. yeah. Yeah. Sophia, you're getting so good at English. Ah, in yeah. <laughs> And you just want to cook these onions until they're uh, nice and tender and lightly golden. All right, the onions are done. Everything else is kind of prepped. And we're just going to wait for the water to boil to put the pasta in. So uh, we have a few minutes here. Uh, Sophia, 
Can I get you a glass of wine? Oh, vino. Yeah, mm. vino rosso. Okay. The water's boiling. We'll, we'll salt it. Had a, had a lot of salt there. And then we're going to add the pasta. Now, just before the pasta is cooked, uh, we're going to uh, warm up those onions and add the tomatoes because we want to cook them just for a few minutes. We don't want them to break down. We want them to keep their shape, but we kind of want to just warm them through. Um, these are uh, al dente, and so it's a uh, time to put the tomatoes. You okay? Okay, now we're just going to kind of put everything together. We do want to reserve uh, a couple of scoopfuls of the pasta water. We're going to need that in a minute. Okay. Let's drain the pasta. is hot, we're going to add this beautiful, soft, ripe fontina cheese. In fact, Sophia, you can do this. What you want to do is just pinch off pieces like this, okay? Mm. And you put it there. So I'll let you do that. I'll start stirring that up so the fontina cheese will melt right into that pasta. Ben, Ben, yeah, that's for sure, Ben. Then we'll add a little bit of the hot pasta water, and that will practically make it a sauce. What are you doing? You're dropping cheese everywhere. You know, Sophia, what I find fascinating about Lake Como is the fact that it's a glacial lake, and it's 1,400 feet deep. Don't you find that amazing? Bene. It's Bene. Bene. Oh, I thought you would. Now we're going to put everything together. Okay, the tomatoes and the onions go in oh. there. Bene, bene. Bene. Mucho gracias. There goes the prosciutto. <laughs> oh boy. Bella, bella, prosciutto. And then to finish it off, we're just going to stir in a little bit of freshly chopped basil. You can put there, right in there. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Kind of. We are ready to serve this. Sophia. Why don't you open a bottle of vino rosso? Oh, I see you're ahead, of, you're ahead of the game there. Ben, Ben. Pasta Fontina, straight from the shores of Lake Como. If you would like a copy of this recipe, all you have to do is go to my website, robinbensley.com, and you can print it right off the website. And I would like to thank my new friend, Sophia for being part of this Chow Time episode. Ben, Ben.